Z Freak still holding a point. I don't think it really matters too much for him. You might go the Aether Shock just so you can secure the range creep. Yeah, he's that's gone. exactly what he's going to do. Pounces up in another couple seconds here, but uh, Ritsu looks like he'd rather just sit in the lane. Z Freak was a bit out of position there. He does have boots, so he'd be able to walk away. <laughs> the good old ranged Preant Protector, also known as Shadow Shaman. Yeah, this guy's base damage is absolutely insane, and he didn't come to lane with enough regen here on uh, the Undying. He's sending himself out to salve and uh, an extra mango, but I feel like this dot alone isn't going to be enough. Yeah, nice grab the... Oh, he could go down here! Oh, oh. Z-Freak. That was some duking happening in uh, both lanes. His bottom lane, Luki Luki and Yaren were getting pretty low to the Boris, his Bloodseeker, and the Ogre. Monkey's Trevor with the body blocks uh, yet again. Last time it was on his uh, treants. He's blocking people. I'm with his hero. He's got uh, the big boy Underlord. So did he go Atrophy Aura 1? They have to make sure they can't get a pull, and Bloody Nine looks like he's just going to get the hard camp pull through. Uh, maybe not. Does it get the out attack? Radiant it does. So that's a fantastic pull there from B9, and it's going to deny a decent chunk of experience there on over to Monkeys. Reset the lane equilibrium as well. Yeah. He knows exactly what's going on there, but you know, he's going to design off on B9. Very nice. Yeah, he needs to get this uh, Troll Summoner. This is a lot of golden experience if he can get it. Help him out quite a bit. Oh. I haven't had the chance to uh, look over here at uh, mid lane yet. I annihilate. Uh, very odd that he decided to go multiple points to the Jingu Master against a uh, ranged hero. I'm not sure he's ever going to get his hands on Ray Lalisa. What with uh, having Astral Imprisonment to fall back on. Yeah, definitely an odd one. I mean, OD doesn't have like the longest uh, attack range, but Monkey King, like you said, you just get Astral, and you don't really have a way of building up those stacks that easily. Yeah, it feels a bit like a waste of point. I like what Doritzi did last game. You know, he's playing against uh, just the dodge too. I annihilated off his game, it seems. But uh, in the, the last game, Ritsu maxed out his uh, prime or his tree dance, his primal spring first, as he knew that very rarely he was actually going to get the uh, stacks off the Nature's Prophet. A lot lane. of uh, kind of lane pulling from this top lane. They don't really have a choice. Like they can't really afford to put monkey uh, monkeys near this slark. And so as long as Buddy Nine's able to continue pulling, uh, he's definitely winning the lane. Hmm. Yeah, I committed onto Yarin there, but he actually managed to dodge the blood right that came out onto him uh, with the phase shift. A bit of an odd choice, uh, you know, playing support, Puck, uh, getting this at level two, but against the blood secret is very necessary. Things uh, relatively even right now. Actually, probably pick up a little bit. Uh, if we go about uh, four minutes into the game, the supports start to rotate for the power runes towards mid. Neither of these mid leaders like picking up bottle, but still uh, pretty important scouting those ones out. I just realized like how this is legitimately like one of the best Bloodseeker games ever. You know, you're against Luki Luki's Pango. You're also against the Slark. Like both these heroes struggle so much against uh, Bloodseeker. Mm -hmm. Now, Bloodseeker, he was nerfed though, you have to keep that in mind, uh, his blood rate damage was, what, uh, reduced by, I think, 60 at level 3? Yeah, or level, so level got mega buffed. Yeah. A lot of people like to bring the Bloodseeker as, like, you know, a bit of a, a bulky off laner, and a bit of engagement at the top lane, I don't think much is going to come of it though. Actually, he's dropping pretty low on monkeys. We don't have Pounce anymore, was already committed, so it looks like he's just gonna salve up. I mean, he just needs to get to Mana Boots and essentially jungle, right? Or just kind of like, oh, they've caught B9 out of position. He has no mana to work with. That's gonna be the first blood going to Monkeys. Z Freak, what a sick play. Two points in the shackles. Uh, not really what you expect, but that's one of the benefits of how they've changed around uh, the Shadow Shaman, right? Uh, suddenly you don't have to max out your Ether Shock anymore to shove out lanes of farm things to the shard, and oh my god, he's got it again! Uh, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> well, the Dark Pack is on cooldown, even nothing he's able to do. Monkey's dipping uh, Z Freak. I mean, the guy's having another incredible game already. Did he, like, try to... Did he approach the wave inside of a firestorm or something? Uh, he, he did. Oh, my God. Monkeys does have bottle. 
I mean, maybe he just wasn't expecting the shot because I mean, it's it just came off a cooldown right there as he came into him reduced by two seconds every level no one expects the two points in the shackles at level three might be He's going for it again. again like ritsu just has to be so afraid now because you have these the firestorm and that shackle duration it's just gonna hold you there for so long there it is once again amount of damage ritsu he just gets his pounce blocked as well he just lost all, like two thirds of his health again Monkey's yeah. gonna continue applying pressure underneath the tower. They have a shackle. Once again, Firestorm under there as well. Ritsu does have Dark Pack, but no pounce. Trying to just run for his life. He's just getting chased down by his lumbering beast. <laughs> he's having a horrible time up here. I mean, he's, he's still continuing to CS underneath all this. He's sitting at 27-7. Uh, Pretty impressive uh, given the amount of pressure that they're putting on him. All right, they're waiting for it. They knew he'd duck back there. There it is. Let's see the shackle. He's There's not nothing he's able to Firestorm, though, so he does have to be careful. Yeah, a nice uh, soul rip the there. It's going to be Z Freak that ends up falling to Ritsu. Does get the hex off. Body blocks in from B9, and they will find it. Yeah, you need that third point in Firestorm for sure. Thanks for that. Uh, I'm surprised. I think Monkey's Forever was uh, afraid about giving both of them up right there or uh, the undying, just being able to get the two man decays off. Oh, Boris went to three a bit of points in Thirst. I was curious if he'd do it. I mean, yeah, like I said, it did get a huge buff. Um, he had 92 health for uh, a range creep that, or a melee creep that dies near him. Yeah, quite a bit. Uh, Luki struggles to get anywhere close to the lane because there's none of your harass is actually going to stick under this Bloodseeker. You're forced to get back again and again here. Let's see, great. Uh, 2800 net worth uh, to 2150 here on Luki Bluki. Just continue to annihilate. Actually, pretty even with Ray Lalisa, considering the, the mismatch there. Bottom lane. He's going to go for that Blood Ride zone. Luki Luki back the opposite direction. Nice fire blast there. Boris, if he gets this kill, he's going to get so much health back. Ends up going over to Empyrean. Thanks to that Ignite. You get uh, a little bit if uh, heroes within 300 AOE. So he heals up uh, just a, a smidgen, but uh, this cowboy gives him 150. <laughs> yeah, he clears his creep wave. He's going to be back up to full by the time Luki Luki's back in lane. Top lane, the nine monkeys goes down. Let's find another kill up here. Two permanent agility on uh, Ritsu. He does have infinite scaling this game. Radiance nice. Top tower is under attack. I'm pretty sure that this is still bugged in some way, the SM shift. Uh, there's been like times when I've just actually gotten the last hit on a uh, hero and just didn't get the S the permanent essence shift and I don't know why Interesting that uh, is a little bit bizarre Is it we are still in a beta though you have to keep that in mind there are uh, little things in the game Maybe if uh, Dota was out a little bit longer wouldn't have to yeah. deal with uh, those kinds of bugs Yeah, you know you gotta give the developers, uh, you know, a couple some months time. to get out of beta some time. There's other things they're working on. <laughs> uh, Boris, bottom lane, level six, has the orb of corrosion. And I'm assuming. Oh, he went treads. Okay. I was like, I'm assuming he's going like phase boots, but, uh, but goes treads instead. Curious if he's going to opt for the uh, Aghanim shard because it's 2% max health as pure damage per auto attack. It, it seems better than it is, I think. Uh, like, you see that, you're like, wow, that's, a, that's pure damage per auto. That seems really cool. And then you try it, and you're like, oh, it's really not. So we'll see what he decides to do. Yeah. It's been a while since we've seen, like, a safe lane Bloodseeker. Mm -hmm. well. Radiant's middle tower is <laughs> under attack. Uh... It has. I mean, the hero has fallen off. Uh, one of the major reasons why people were picking is, uh, the thing I was trying to touch on earlier was uh, the amount of pure damage you do with Blood Raid. And losing 60 pure damage is quite a bit. Um, it, it stopped people from shoving out towers. The, the six second silence on it was absolutely amazing. That part wasn't nerfed, but he is definitely a bit, uh, a bit weaker after losing uh, the burst potential on the hero. This game, he was just too good to pass up against the Slark and uh, the Pangolier, though. It made yeah. sense to grab it. So OD has that Meteor Hammer now completed. So mid lane, if you leave for too long, Ray Lisa can definitely take the tower with the Meteor Hammer. But Z Freak, he's just been hanging out, getting some solo experiences. They've rotated I Annihilate to the bottom lane and they've sent the uh, <laughs> uh, 
lot of good in the yard. They're able to get that jump so quick. They have a lot of damage coming out of Rookie's Tango. He's going to turn away on the side. Now he gets that disarm out on the track. Well, stun him for the time. He could potentially just turn this to Rookie. He doesn't have a swash puzzle for a few more seconds, and I Annihilate does have that uh, two points in Jingu, four points in the uh, Primal Spring. If he gets another disarm, oh my god, he does. Luki the Madman just gets him. He's got, he's got his stick, he's got a mango in his backpack, he's swapping in, but he might be able to get away, he does. Disarms him, slows him. Unbelievable. <laughs> the luck on this man. <laughs> Good old Pangolier. <laughs> Lucky Shot is an absolutely disgusting ability that should be removed by the game, but my god, Luki manning up as if it's the only option there, and he gets it done. Top lane coil onto Boris, he drops the blood right and a rupture onto Ritsu, but he can't survive this all by himself. In comes Monkey's Forever, nice pit of Malice, giving him some space, but they get the kill anyway. And there's going to be <laughs> a couple <laughs> tips coming out. A little bit of pause action. Yeah, uh, one tip uh, each way, just uh, standing his ground and fighting there uh, on the slot. Because uh, Bloodseeker is dead, you don't have to worry about that uh, thirst, uh, giving you vision of him, him not regening back up with the Shadow Dance. I think he's just a little bit above the threshold anyways, though. Uh, so Slark will be able to, to get out of this one. Nothing they can do. Well, uh, Z Freak is actually holding on to the Tome here in the mid lane, and I don't think... Uh I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think he needs this one. He could probably pass this somebody else's way, but given his performance on the Rubik uh, last game, I think if you, if you give him a little bit of farm, uh, he accomplishes a lot with it. Yeah, I mean, the only other hero that you could maybe justify it on would be the Underlord, but Z Freak's going to still do work with levels on Shaman. I mean, get, getting to like max, uh, max level like Hex and Shackles or even just like an extra point, couple extra points in Aethershock, like this hero's spells scale so well. Mm hmm. Well, you don't really need to put the extra points in the other shock anymore. You you got it before uh, for like you know, nuke burst damage and uh, shoving out lanes and farming, right? But uh, yeah. give, given the the Aghanim shard now, uh, you just use uh, shackles on the creep wave and it spawns four wards to clear it out. That, in that creep is camps. true. Mid lane, Ray Lisa going for that tower with the meteor hammer. Z freak unable to make it in time to cancel that. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. Catapult uh, is on their side. Uh, could potentially shove out uh, a lane with uh, that one, but it looks like I've got other things planned on the side of simply two based. I annihilate. Uh, not having. I mean, 66 and 7 isn't that bad. I'm still not having an amazing game, but doing about Dyer's how Ritsu was is under attack. on his Monkey King previous game. Yeah, definitely. He, I mean, he's just got this Orc Crozier and he's queued up a BKB. Luki's going to go ahead and dive the bottom lane here. He's rotation from B9 and Yarn. They drop the Tombstone. Coil is available in 14 seconds, but it's just not even necessary. Yeah, plenty of damage coming out from these heroes. Lots of magic. And that's one of the things that Monkey King suffers uh, suffers with the most. Very high armor hero, but uh, susceptible to getting blown up. This is an awkward position mid lane. Rupture and the Firestorm. Oh my gosh. Ray Lalisa, good night, sir. You are not surviving this one. Boris will find that kill. Decent amount of experience is going to go their whole way. They even leave the tower at 19 Radiant HP, so they should be able to get the deny. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it becomes, what, uh, a 550 gold swing and almost 1,000 XP there. Radiant's Z Freak doing a lot of work with the silly string that he's got. Dude, I'm a big fan of, of silly strings. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I knew uh, at the moment they picked Shadow Shaman, it was going to be Z Freak on this hero. He's been doing tons of work uh, setting up. I mean, it's not the fact that he's been getting kills, he's been getting very important kills on all these heroes. Well, yeah, I mean, Radiant the thing is, is like I said, Z Freak used to play Shadow Shaman Dyer's all the time. This was one of his heroes that uh, he like made viable legitimately in several in several patches Radiant in the region. And, uh, it was warranted respect bans at certain Quiet times. So. Yeah, something I think people have forgotten how strong it are. I think it's kind of like power creep into being very strong again. It's definitely is very good at the moment. Uh, got the the one buff that it needed for you to change your skill build around a little bit with that egg and shard. Sitting down the trees here, I think he's hoping that somebody comes back down here. Then all he has to do is hit him with the hex, have somebody TP in, and then shackle him afterwards. And that's exactly what he's doing. Lukey, Lukey, he's back down here. 
baby, there it is. The max duration shackle into a blood ride, man. This guy. Uh, he is so patient. I saw him TP down here like 30 seconds ago. I was like, yeah, I'll wait it out. Yeah. And it's worth it. He gets the kill on the Luki, and now Boris has a free lane to just farm it up. Yeah. <laughs> Z-Freak will wait as long as he has to. <laughs> Very nice play there by him. Again, uh, shutting down uh, Luki Luki, pretty big deal. Mint, uh, Maelstrom's going to be delayed quite a bit now, which will slow down his farm, of course, and uh, make the jungle that much safer for Boris. Who's working on the Maelstrom. Oh, mid lane, the Hex onto the puck. You're kidding me. <laughs> Z-Freak sets up another kill onto Yarn as he tried to go for a cheeky little waiting rift orb out. But he had already he had already targeted the hex at that point. Ray Lisa revealing the blink dagger. They do have a rolling thunder coming on through. Will stun up monkeys. They don't have any way to help him here. So much magic amp coming in from that undying as well. Uh, they, uh, yeah, grabbing that kill uh, is pretty important. But losing monkeys forever isn't the biggest deal. The the man's game but, off the mark. Yeah, they missed Boris. He gets a rupture, but he's just gonna, oh. Luki missed as well. From Z Freak, he's juking it through, trying to stay away from Ray Lisa. They're gonna miss the boundless strike, but B9, he gets him with the soul rip. Oh my god, a coil gonna make space as well. They're not gonna find anything. In goes Swark, very aggressively, but Ritsu is gonna be able to protect himself thanks to that uh, Shadow Dance. They will take down Z Freak, another count on four to the Ogre. Yarn will finally die. Underlord catches that Meteor Hammer, but Ritsu, he's out of mana. Can they get the kill? Monkeys goes down first. Luki trying to do what he can, but Boris cleaning house as he buys back into the game. Yeah, no uh, lucky shot proc in that time. You don't get the disarm. He got away with murder last time, but uh, I and I like he ends up being uh, the winner of this fight. Slark, uh, Ritzy, you know, he got a number of kills there. Just going uh, <laughs> completely aggressive, but this hand of Midas build isn't what he needed for that kind of aggression, unfortunately. And we have 500 gold swings away of a simply two base and XP a thousand their way. Grand scheme of things, uh, I'd say two based are happy about that. Yeah, Underlord's just gonna rift to the mid lane. And they're gonna try and do this uh, tier one tower push. They have the catapult alive, even Z Free closing on in under the cover of a smoke. You could drop the wards here. Ritsu. It's like you don't have you don't have uh, a lot of health here on the side. Z Freak, he just finds the puck. There's gonna be a nice uh, blood right as well. A stun comes in. They will trade one for one. The wards are already down, plus the tombstone. Luki not gonna commit with that rolling thunder. Backs of the fight Imperium has been found by Ray Lalisa. He's gonna try and chase him. So these disarms from uh, Luki are ridiculous on the Monkey King. And this is going to be the issue that he has all game up until he gets his BKB, which he's working on right now. It feels pretty bad if you're forced to go uh, Orb of Corruption, Face Boots into BKB on MK, but absolutely necessary this game given what he's dealing with. I mean, they are so far ahead already on the side of Dog Champion. They have a 6,000 gold lead and all three of the cores topping the net with Chard Yarin. Caught by a rupture, now Blood Right. Astral gonna protect him, but Monkey's close in, has that hit of mouth, Firestorm. They should be able to finish off the puck yet. Ooh, a lot of help coming back his way. Makes that soar it, but Boris, he's gonna go down instead. He just gets turned on by Ritsu as well as the Undying. They have more than enough damage, and now another Astral into Meteor Hammer. They find Z Freak, two kills going the way of Dog Champ. They are just running over. Yeah, yeah, I annihilated realizing the direction that team fight was going as well and just opted to TP bottom and they're smoking up to go on him down here. I, I think he realizes that they want to get him. Radiance middle on the tree is a dangerous attack. place to be when uh, Luki Luki does have this quelling blade. And Puck, are scanning. Puck trying to scout him out with that uh, illusionary orb. Couple, last couple of these fights, though, pretty heavily going the way of uh, Dog Champ, and I, I don't think they were expecting this kind of Radiant's early aggression here from or attack. them to be winning this hard uh, this early on, simply two base. But they went for this early aggression lineup, and it, it's been working out for them quite well. Still holding this mid tier one. Bottom lane. Just dropping the medium <laughs> on the tier two. Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous, Ricky. 
Yeah, this is getting very out of hand. And this is what I was afraid of with the Underlord uh, this early in the draft is like, Radiant's there are a lot of heroes you have to be worried about when you pick the Underlord. And, you know, they ended up banning out the supports instead and leave Slark in the pool, who is one of like the most frustrating heroes to play against. And he has this aura of corruption, Midas now defusal as he's working towards that Shadow Blade. And Ritsu is just going to be popping off this game as he now eclipses the 10,000 net worth. Dyer's he he had a rough go attack. things at the start, you know, taking down in lane, but uh, that counter killed them. He managed Lose to grab them. on Z Freak, I think, uh, made a pretty big difference. Here to top Z Freak and I Annihilate are here. Top He's top kind of debating on the attack. wards, but hasn't I, committed I, quite yet. He's a little bit afraid. I think he was waiting for some sort of counter Radiant's initiation. I mean, that's what he's been doing on Luki Luki in the bottom lane, on uh, Slark a couple of attack. times here. It, oh, if it will be found. Another kill going the way of Ritsu Slark. Now up to nine permanent agility. The infinite scaling here. Oh, Coil on the Bloodseeker. He's just going to snap that immediately on the high ground here. Is I an island? He does have his ultimate available. Z Freak's just going to drop the wards, finds the pucks. Shadow Dan's going to be committed. I an island's new BKB doing some serious work. Boundless Strike takes down that undying. And Boris gets a lot of health back now. Luki, Luki in pursuit gets a ton of damage out from that Swashbuckle Maelstrom. And ends up going three for two. And this was the brand new BKB as well. Yeah, I mean, he ended up going very well for the Monkey King there, but uh, suddenly they can't stand their ground against the Slark anymore. He's been doing too much work with uh, just this Diffusal Blade in the hand of yeah. Mice. Once he has the Eye of Scotty complete, uh, I, I don't think Monkey King can be able to fight him even inside his own ultimate anymore. Getting at level 17 now. And I like, just uh, can't farm as fast as this Slark at this point. They do control the map. They need to somehow, you know, take this mid-tier uh, 1. Uh, make it harder for them to make these rotations around the map here on Dog Champ, but struggling to find the time, and now Mass Serpent Ward's on cooldown for another 60 seconds. I mean, I don't know what your Bloodseeker does anymore. I mean, your, your Bloodseeker has 6,000 net worth at 21 minutes. Like, this is, this hero is, isn't offering anything in these fights. Like, yeah. he, he, he's a rupture, you know, which is pretty good, but he just dies. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he might eventually need to go uh, Egg and Scepter to have the, the multiple charges on his rupture to shut down both uh, the Slark and the, the Pangolia, but he's very far attack. off getting anything like that right now. And there's very little space to work with on the map. Oh, mid lane, they've caught Luki on his Pango, a nice initiation. There's gonna be the Soul Rip on the backside, keep looking, he misses the Boundless Strike, he's out! Oh no, and here comes the Rolling Thunder, Underlord, he's just channeling this Dark Rift, he's getting the boys out, the Astral, however, it will bring him. Yeah, it's like, it will take him all the way back, right? Yeah. Okay. Which is, uh, you know, not a good mechanic in my opinion but whatever <laughs> uh, it sets up our they think about doing roshan yeah Radiant's slark unfortunately middle. not a great deal yeah, we'll this one uh, pretty slow but they committed a lot in that last team fight he got got still Scotty, man he is so strong i mean you have to be able to jump into this pit i mean Boris is like really the only way to do it with that blood right on the high ground. It's gonna be Pudgy dodges the balance strike again. There's gonna be the Astral, the BKB channeling into that meteor hammer. Perfectly timed stun, but on the back side, holding both of these heroes in place. Boris, he can't get to Luki's Pango as he's just running around this fight. Not really sure who he can target as two heroes are dead. Z Freak, he's gotta just stand here on the front side, but he just gets popped by Luki once again. And now Boris, he might be able to finish him off, but in comes Ritsu, he has a pounce, Saddle Dance, and everything available. It's a disaster for the side of Simply Two Base. They just can't win these fights. Uh, uh, torn in every single direction, taking these scrappy fights are exactly what Pango and Slark love doing. They can't hold them in one place anymore. And Z Freak, you know, trying as he can, he's in it. he's getting torn apart there. Oh, D as well. Ray Lisa here uh, ripped apart the Muggy King who didn't have his BKB up in that team fight, which again is one of the reasons why they thought it was safe to take a shot. Was it uh, these big ultimates they had available besides whether or not they can fight into that? It is the Muggy King's uh, BKB, one of the most crucial things here. Now complete dominance over the map. 15 King now with lead here at uh, only 23 minutes into the game. Yep. Game one was a stomp for simply two based, and game two right now looking incredibly good for Dog Champ. Yeah, 
And Dog Champ, they very much need this right now. Last uh, three games for them. Not looking very good, but a very convincing lead for them right now. And uh, they don't scale super hard in the late game. And given the fact that you went for this BKB first build on the Monkey King, you could have struggled to find the farm Radiant's to get back into it as well. Yeah. They also finished the defusal on Luki as bottom lane. They find Boris once again on the Bloodseeker. No BKB even close. They'll just be able to finish off that kill. I annihilate in some trouble as well as Luki continues to chase into the base. He does have BKB available. I think they're just trying to force it. Astral Meteor Hammer will catch two. They get the BKB on Ray Lisa, but he just snaps down that kill on top of that ogre. Has to be careful as he's going pretty far. Z Freak trying to get the shackles. A nice war place, but Luki able to blink out of the base. And now I annihilate his BKB. He's been committed for this boundless strike. Does catch the OD, but a silence on the Underlord. He can't do anything. He's getting surrounded. And the disarmy's dead! Oh my gosh. With that BKB expended, there's nothing that the Bunker King was going to be able to do. He knew that he had to, to go forward to either get the kill or everything would fall apart. And everything is falling apart. Oh my gosh. They are just so far ahead here. Uh, there's such little that they're able to do. I mean, uh, Boris, he, he's hesitant to even go out there and throw a blood raid out. Instead, he opts to start pushing out top way. This tier three, this rack, they're definitely going to lose here. By yeah, the time this Blood back Seeker, up, it looks top. on paper, you're like, oh, this is such a good Blood Seeker game, but Radiant's it has just done nothing. Yeah. It yeah, feels absolutely. like just the hero is just too bad. Simply too bad. <laughs> Simply Radiant's too bad. Back, so uh, I mean, I, I I don't think this is a Boris thing. Like, we saw Boris play a great game Radiant's one. This, I, it just feels it's like this Blood Seeker doesn't offer much to the table here. It's it's fallen off. I mean, his job was to shut down the Slark and uh, the Pangolier, but he's not able to do either of those things. Uh, they don't pump out enough damage without uh, Boris popping off, and they don't do enough damage given the items that Monkey King picked up. Are scanning. Looks like they uh, these two very <laughs> crucial things, uh, the safe link carry not doing enough damage, and then, of course, uh, Monkey King isn't able to do enough either just with this BKB build. And your offline is Underlord. Yes, you can pump out lots of magical damage, but that's about it. Yeah, I think the, the one more bad fight here from Simply Two Base is just a, a GG scenario. They're gonna find Z Freak here on the Shaman, and a nice Swashbuckle doing quite a bit of damage. They get the kill with the Tombstone Blink in aggressively here from Luki. Monkey's just gonna immediately start trying to channel that uh, Dark Rift, but it doesn't matter. Three heroes dead right outside the base, and this is this is what I was afraid of. Go ahead and rupture up. Luki Bloodright is down. He takes a lot of damage from this, but Boris still can't do anything about it. I annihilate pump faking that boundless strike. Not really sure what to do. That's gonna be a tier two tower. Aegis still available for another minute and a half. Yeah, this will probably be another set of racks here. I mean, he's good. He could be on the monkey game. This is the one thing you need to take the fight, but the lead is starting to get ridiculous. Well, the mid lane, they found Monkey King. He does have BKB. And oh my god, the damage from the OD! You're kidding me! That did 816 damage to the Monkey King. He lost almost half his HP there just to one spell. He did not expect it. And yeah, that is. That is uh, as bad as it gets. You only get the puck. 27k net worth up now things are just getting worse and worse you got a lot of xp for grabbing that puck sure but you expended your bkb again nice astral there to save well played and rolling thunder still available they're gonna go ahead and still shackle up the slark but doesn't get that blood uh the dark packed off in time well, we'll just uh, back away. Aegis is up for another 30 seconds here. Looking to find everything they can with it. Yeah, Blink on forward aggressively. Great initiation. I mean, they can just continue the chase. These guys have so much damage. They're so far ahead. Luki just rolls on by and gets himself another kill. Ray Lisa ch gets a second advantage onto the Monkey King. And he's got nothing left. This is a slap as Boris GG's out, and they will tie the series 1-1. And disconnects from the game and that is it. Uh, I, I don't think that they really should keep going with this one. They're in position to start trying to, to found farm them. So Dog Champ, they take game number two and the first victory here in the DPC. Yeah, this last pick Slark.